The Arctic Fractal Define R3 case is made from steel, plastic and noise absorbing foam material. This has a number of advantages over its predecessor that includes improved cable routing, airflow and a bigger hole in the motherboard plate mounting for CPU coolers. It weighs just over 12.5 kilograms and is about 207 by 440 by 520 centimeters in size. The front door of the case is held into place with two magnets. This gives it a very positive locking action. On the back of the front door you will find noise absorbing foam. This is a key feature throughout this case. There are two five and a quarter inch bay covers that can be quickly and easily removed by unlocking them. And they can be replaced just as easy. Behind these two doors you will find the facilities for two 120mm fans. The case is supplied with one and the other is optional. In front of these fans there are filters that can be removed by unscrewing the four retaining screws. This will release the fan and filter. Once removed the filter can be separated from the fan by unclipping it and sliding it off. The filter can be cleaned by using a small paintbrush to remove the thickest particles and dust, then dipped into warm soapy water, rinsed, then dried. The filter can then be clipped back onto the fan and then the four retaining screws replaced. The reset button of the computer can be found to the right of the top door. On both sides of the case there are air vents that take in cool air. On the top of the case we can find the common 3.5mm headphones and microphone sockets. There is an off and on button, two USB ports, an external serial ATA port and the power LED. Also on the top of the case there are facilities for two more 120mm fans that are currently covered with noise absorbing material. Each side panel is secured with just two screws and can be removed by sliding them off. On the back of this panel we can see here more soundproofing foam. Also on this panel there is facility for another 120mm fan. If this is fitted then the extra soundproofing material is removed thus allowing an option to change the performance of the sound or ventilation. The other side panel has also been covered with sound absorbing material. Inside the case we will find a box of accessories along with a case guide. On the rear of the case there is a cutout to accommodate the onboard devices found on the motherboard. These two holes are for the external water cooling system for the CPU, along with two other holes further down. There are seven expansion slots in all for the devices connected to the motherboard. Most higher end cases do not always include the power supply thus allowing the system to be customised. This is where it would be fitted in this example. Looking at the bottom of the case you will find a further dust filter for the power supply. It can be removed and is also washable. This is where a further 120mm intake fan can be fitted. Looking inside the case we can see the filter for this optional fan. At the back of the case you can see the internal fan. The power supply sits on these four rubber feet that will absorb any noise produced by the power supply. The power supply opening has also some further foam that sits between the power supply and the case, again reducing the noise and vibration. Looking inside and at the top of the case we will find further soundproofing which should be removed when extra fans are to be fitted. One major advantage of this case is it is suitable for mini, micro or even a full ATX motherboard. 
These are cable management holes around the case with grommets, so reducing any drag on the air circulation caused by the cabling. And a large hole for the CPU retention plate found on the motherboard that can also generate some heat. You can install up to 8 devices into these quick release caddies. These can be a combination of 5.25 or 3.5 inch in size. Each of these can be released by squeezing in the retaining lugs, then sliding them out. They also have rubber grommets for fixing screws that secure the devices to them to reduce vibration. We shall see later an example of this. Further up the case you can install two 5 and a quarter inch devices or with a reducer a 3 and a half inch device. Also included is a 5 and a quarter or 3 and a half inch cover. One of the bays will need removing and this pushed into position. Accessories include screws, a fan controller and the necessary cables to attach the controllers to the fans.